Hey guys, I'm Martin and um, today is the morning of uh, my second day on developing on Windows. Um, so you can see here, it's Windows 10. I already have a Windows 10 PC because I do, um, yeah, uh, let's say quite a lot of um, gaming actually. And um, so I wondered how is developing on Windows like and um, is it maybe strange that I have two PCs, a MacBook and a Windows PC, which both have to be quite powerful because I also um, do some photography stuff on the Mac. And um, so, yeah, also inspired by Dave Rupert, who switched to Windows uh, a couple of months ago, I guess. I, um, yeah, bought a little adapter for my cinema display so I can connect it to the gaming PC. And I switched all my gear onto one desk, which is uh, this one here. And um, yeah, since yesterday, I'm uh, trying out how it is to live on Windows only. And um, I'm not sure how long I will do it. Um, maybe I will switch forever. Maybe I will just go back to uh, two separate PCs for um, yeah, fun and work and Mac and Windows. But uh, for now, I'm on Windows and I thought I would share my um, setup so far with you. So um, it's basically almost the same as on the Mac and it's really easy to get running, um, for me at least. So um, we have Atom as my editor of choice at the moment. On Mac I'm doing a lot of stuff in Vim in item 2, but um, yeah, it, it's really easy to work in Atom on, on Windows. Maybe I will see if I can transfer my Vim setup onto the Mac and um, see how this goes. But uh, at the moment it's Atom. I use the material um, theme and, and syntax highlighting and um, yeah, all the plugins are available on both platforms. So this is, is all nice, all good. Everything's working without any problems. Um, just a few shortcuts, different uh, are different between Mac and Windows, but um, yeah, no problem. So then um, my command line app is Commander. Um, I'm not really understanding what it all, what it does all, but um, it's working. I can uh, move through folders. I can um, use Gulp and yeah. So the basic, basic things are working. Vim is even working. Um, it's uh, Vim 7.4, so that's nice, but um, I don't have any Vim RC file, so um, yeah, this is for another day. Um, but yeah, Commander is also awesome, looks quite good. I have mm, uh, nothing customized so far, and I can see on which, which branch I, um, I'm at, and yeah, awesome. So next up is Slack. No, Slack is awesome, but uh, nothing to do with the development setup. The Twitter app is uh, uh, horrible, but it works kind of. Then I have the GitHub app for all my, my Git things. Um, yeah, it looks a little bit different than on the Mac, but basically all these things um, are on the, on the same place. And uh, just the layout is a little bit different, the design icons and um, but it looks modern I, I really like it I really like the, the style of the Windows um, 10 and um, yeah so github app is working it's awesome and I also use the github app on Mac most of the time even though tower is awesome on Mac but um, I have no idea if, if anybody knows uh, any other good git apps um, which are powerful and look good for Windows I'm happy to try them out, but um, yeah, I'm really happy with GitHub uh, for Windows. And then there is MEMP Pro, which is uh, funny because MEMP is yeah basically for for Mac, but there's also a MEMP Pro version for Windows, and it <laughs> looks exactly the same, and um, has all the same functionality, and uh, yeah, it's just working for me at the moment. You can see I've no not not um, yeah, transferred a lot of projects from from my Mac to my my Windows PC, um, but uh, yeah, if I have to, it's just working right out of the box. And then I installed a few things on the command line. Um, I installed Node, npm, 
Ruby, Python, and everything without any problems. So, so far, that's nice. Um, I have this monitor, which is a 24-inch gaming monitor, so um, it doesn't look as good as the cinema display, and I have the cinema display um, to my right. And um, it's nice to have two monitors, but also um, different um, than I'm used to. Um, yeah, so that's it for my Windows setup on day two. Um, I will get to, to work now. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, what it's like developing on Windows or any specific things or uh, any tips, tricks, apps I should use or try out, um, let me know in the comments below. And um, yeah, see you next time. Bye.